In this uh, video I'm going to show you how to set up the OpenWeb RX remote SDR software. This is an ideal piece of software if you wish to control your SDR receiver either over your local network or on a wider basis over the internet. And apart from the equipment you need to act as an SDR server, uh, when you're receiving, all you'll need is, is any device uh, that's capable of running a web browser. So for Open Web RX, what do we need? Well, obviously we need an SDR receiver. Uh, for my main setup, I use an SDR Play RSP1. You can also use a um, SDR dongle like this, an RTL SDR dongle. This is the version 3 that does HF. That works reasonably well. Um, you can use an AirSpy a dongle. There are various other um, ones that will work with out of the box. You've also got the MSI SDR, which um, OpenWeb RX thinks is an SDR Play. It uses a similar chipset. It's not quite as good a receiver as the SDR Play, but you can use it. And obviously, you're going to need uh, a Raspberry Pi. I've got a Raspberry Pi 4 here, so it's a 2 gig uh, model in this uh, case. It's got a fan built into the case which is quite handy because the Pi 4 particularly can run quite hot. You can also use a Pi 3, that works fine. I use a Pi 3 on my main setup and there's no problem with that at all. Um, probably a little bit more headroom with the Pi 4 because obviously it's a little bit faster, it's got a bit more memory. Um, you're also obviously going to need an antenna for the SDR but if you're watching this I assume you'll have some sort of antenna. And uh, then we'll just need the um, SDR software, in this case the Open RX, uh, Open Web RX software, and we'll need a means of uh, burning uh, the image that we'll download onto an SD card for the Raspberry Pi. So I use um, a piece of software called Belina Etcher, which is quite straightforward and you'll see that in a moment. So what I'll do, uh, I'll just uh, talk you through how we're going to get the um, Open Web RX image now for the Raspberry Pi. So if we go over to the desktop and you don't need to see me anymore you see I've already put uh, open web RX into search item in the Google there and uh, let's just enter that and that will take us to the open web RX website and there's an awful lot of information here I'm not going to go through it all now it's well worth a read but in this case we go to get open web RX and we're going to download a Raspberry Pi image. So we click on that. Uh, we've got two options here. The latest um, image and the most up to date software is this one at the top. So we'll go for that. We just click that. Okay, and it won't take very long and that will download. a zip file and but of course then we need to burn that um, onto an SD card so that the Pi can actually do something with it okay we've uh, downloaded our piece of software there now so let's see about getting it onto an SD card for the Raspberry Pi. And you'll see here over here I've got Belina Etcher, which is the program I'm going to use. So I'll open that up. It takes a little while to open up. And there it is. Right, so we've got Belina Etcher up on the screen now. And I've got my... Uh, card reader and adapter for the SD card. I've got a uh, SD card here, a micro SD card. It's not blank but there's nothing on there I want so we'll pop that into the uh, reader and we'll pop this into the PC over here. So I've uh, plugged that into the uh, USB on the PC. So let's find the image. Go to downloads. There we are, it's the latest one we've downloaded, we've got that. I'll open that. You can see it's now there in Belina Etcher. 
the selector we've got a 16 uh, gigabyte uh, micro SD card in the PC there there it is and we'll just press flash we should get there okay get one of these uh, notifications up that asks us if we want the app to make changes to the device so we'll click on yes and there it goes it's starting to flash the SD card so this takes a little while uh, probably long enough to go and make a cuppa and come back to it and uh, then we'll go on to the next uh, stage okay so it, it's finished um, writing to the card it's now going to validate which is going to take another couple of minutes it's about two minutes or so maybe a little bit longer to write to the card you see it's running through the validation process once that's done uh, the image will basically be ready to use but we're gonna do one more step just to make things a little bit easier for ourselves when the card is finished validating right the card is finished uh, validating it's completely flashed onto the SD card so to make things a little bit easier for ourselves there's one more step because although if we plug this into the Pi now connected to the Raspberry Pi to an Ethernet cable um, we would have a functioning um, open web RX receiver if everything goes okay at some stage we're likely to want to communicate with the Raspberry Pi we don't need to plug a monitor or keyboard into it we can run it completely headless we can do everything we need to do over the network using another machine it's a lot easier that way but in order to do that we have to set this image up so we can communicate over SSH so what I'm going to do I'm going to unplug the card reader from the PC and plug it back in and I'll show you what happens okay so I'm now in the file manager and I'm going to look at the SD card that we've just burned the image onto you can see here it's showing as boot e so let's just go into that there's a number of files this these aren't all of the files that are on this card but they are they're the only ones that the Windows PC can see but all we need to do here anyway is if we right click and create a new folder we're going to name that folder there SSH that's all we need to do click away it's there that means that when we connect the Raspberry Pi up we'll be able to communicate with it uh, we can use um, a piece of software called putty for example if we just want to use uh, the command line and, and, and the various commands under the Pi um, if we want to transfer files and so on there's other software we can use and you know I'll, I'll, I'll come to that a little later on but at the moment that's all we need to do with that image we can now unplug the card from the PC and uh, set about uh, setting up the Raspberry Pi and the SDR receiver okay so we've plugged the SD card into the Raspberry Pi I've connected it up to an Ethernet cable I've connected my um, SDR receiver. I'm using the uh, MSI dongle, which will appear as a RSP Play on OpenWebRx. Connected up an antenna, and I've powered up the Raspberry Pi. So the next thing we need to do is identify what IP address our Raspberry Pi is using, so that we can uh, communicate with it over the local network. Now, if you plug a monitor into the Pi after it's booted up, you will get the IP address out of it and I'll uh, give you an example screen here of my uh, Raspberry Pi and you can see that usefully the IP address is on there but you don't really need to connect a monitor up and um, there's plenty of software out there that will help you um, identify the IP addresses of the devices that are connected to your network and uh, one of the programs I've uh, used successfully in the past is uh, advanced IP scanner here it's free and uh, it's very simple to use and it lists all of the devices on the network but whatever method you use once you know what the IP address of your Raspberry Pi is all you have to do is open your browser I'm using Google Chrome here and just type in the address of your Raspberry Pi there it is we'll enter that and you'll see that straight away it brings up the OpenWebRx screen 
it's somewhat greed out because we need to click this large play button here and there's the receiver okay. that's uh, our 80 meters at the moment we can the display's a little bit um, power so I'll just for a second we can alter the intensity of the display by scrolling here and uh, now we've got a better view of the band and uh, the various signals and as you can see we've got the opportunity of using all these various modes you have seen open web rx in in other videos of mine um, out of the box just out of the image that we've burnt onto the sd card we've got five bands preset in open web rx for us 20 meters 30 meters 40 meters 80 meters and the 49 meter broadcast band so that's the way it works as is you can of course add additional frequencies you can add all of the armature bands you can add all of the broadcast bands you can add anything within the coverage of your SDR receiver VHF UHF and so on but to add any more than we have here we're going to need to go into the configuration file of open web rx and make some alterations make some additions uh, that's slightly more involved and I'll show you how to do that in the next open web rx video but for the time being I just did this to show you what you get out of the box particularly if you're using an SDR uh, play type device this is exactly what you will see now you're able to access this on any device that's capable of running a web browser that is on your local network so that could be an iPad it could be a, ta a, um, a mobile phone uh, a tablet a PC whatever as long as it runs a web browser it will access open web RX and you'll be able to use uh, these uh, five bands here um, to go a little bit further we could put this receiver on the internet so that we could access it anywhere in the world on any web connected device that will run a browser um, that way you could share your receiver with uh, your local radio club with your friends whatever but again we need to make some alterations to the open web rx software that's on our sd card and we also need to learn a little bit about port forwarding and uh, how to set up uh, your router so that you can actually reach your uh, raspberry pi over the internet and uh, that's something I can do in a later video but if you've got some knowledge about port forwarding and uh, you know you you've accessed devices remotely that's uh, gonna be very very helpful but for the time being what we've got we've got a shortwave receiver we can access on any device over our lo local network so I hope that's been of some interest I hope it's helped if you're thinking of uh, using the open web RX software and uh, I'll speak to you again soon and we'll have a, a closer look at uh, open web and how we can alter it slightly to to suit our needs thank you very much for watching and bye bye for now